So today I'll be talking to you about the best skincare routine to follow for age 28 and above. If you are dealing with hyperpigmentation, you have dry skin, uh, you don't know your skin type. I mean, this is one important thing you need to know when it comes to skin care. If you want to be intentional about your skin this year, then you need to know your skin type. Very important. And if you feel your skin is losing its glow, your skin is losing its elasticity, then you need to watch this video. If you want to look young, if you want to look fresh, okay, then this video, like I said before, is for you. I'll be sharing some tips that will help you achieve your goal this year hello welcome to my youtube channel if you are a new subscriber hello and if you are just seeing my video for the very first time hello as well and if you are a returning subscriber hello my name is glory michael and over here i talk about skin sorry anti-aging skin care health and wellness so if you want to be intentional about your health your skin and wellness then this channel is for you okay all you have to do is click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when i upload videos like this and also don't forget to share this video for people who will love to see videos like this as well i mean share to your friends and family okay you just don't know who this video will help okay. and don't forget to like and leave a comment below this video all right so before further ado let's dive in one thing you need to know is that aging is inevitable it is natural and everybody by god's grace is going to go through that process as we get older um uh, we start to see different changes in our body our health and our skin now for the purpose of this particular video we'll be talking about skin care like i said before if you want to be intentional about your skin then you need to know your skin type there are five different skin types that we are familiar with right now we have one the normal skin we have the dry skin we have the combination skin and we have the sensitive skin. On this area, I am going to be touching on the surface alone. Reason is that this particular topic is a full video on its own. And trust me, it's, if I want to start talking about it, it's going to take the whole of this video. And I don't want this video to be too long. So if you want to know more about your skin type, how to take care of your skin type condition and disease that can affect your skin type then all you have to do is leave a comment below this video and i will do normal skin is a well-balanced skin neither too dry or too oily right um it does not require any special care at all people with this kind of skin um, can use any product of their choice and they are definitely going to see results with it. Dry skin. Dry skin can feel tight, rough, and dull. And it produces less sebum than normal skin. It also lacks the lipids that it needs to retain moisture. Oily skin has a glossy shine and a visible pores. It varies in severity depending on the time of the year, okay? And these changes can be caused by either heat, stress, puberty, or other hormonal changes. At this point, you should know that not all products will work for you because you do not want to apply something that will irritate your skin. Next, we have... Um, combination skin now combination skin has a mist of different skin 
type okay it can be oily in some parts of your skin it can be normal in some parts of your skin it can be dry in some parts of your skin and you can easily identify it through your t your t zone right and um when you're treating your skin you have to treat your skin differently because your skin has combination of different um skin type sensitive skin sensitive skin is more prone to react to stimuli unlike the normal skin type that has no reaction at all okay this um, skin type is super fragile and it tends to lose its, pro its productive uh, function which makes it more easier for microorganisms to enter okay and uh, with this kind of skin type you can be infected easily people with this skin type need to be careful um, about the products they use on their skin and what they eat okay um you can easily get allergies once you know your skin type it's easier to identify a product that will work for you okay not because a is using a particular product you want to use it just because a set is working but you you want to use it only if it will work for your skin type okay so if you want me to elaborate more on um, skin type the condition and the disease that can affect each skin type and how to take care of your skin type then leave a comment below this particular video and i will do a video for you that being said once you understand all of this it's easier to on sorry it's easier to you know create a routine that will work for your own skin type right a routine that will give you the glow you have always wanted a routine that will clear off hyperpigmentation a routine that will give you the young and smooth skin a routine that will give you that moisture your skin needs product you need to get to create um a routine for yourself first you need a facial wash you need a body wash you need a facial exfoliator and you need a body exfoliator scrub whatever you call it okay um you need a, a toner you need a moisturizer you need a serum and you need spf you need a body lotion and you need a body oil okay now here are my routines that i follow and it has been working for me. In fact, ever since I started doing this, um, I have seen um, results. These are my morning and night routine um, that I use and I have been seeing results. First, when you wake up in the morning, um, you want to take a shower. You use your body wash and you use your facial wash. You use your facial wash for your face and you use your body wash for your body i don't advise people to use the same um body wash for their face and their body except um it's stated that you can use the body wash for face and body okay but i don't use it so i don't advise people to use the same body wash for their body and um face especially if you're using bar soap the second thing you want to do is to exfoliate your skin but i don't advise people okay to exfoliate their skin in the morning because hello darling you're going under the sun okay so i advise people to exfoliate only at night next thing you want to do once you're out of the shower is to use a mouth toner on your face okay you need a mild toner on your face in the morning once you're done with the toner then you can apply your serum i always advise people to make use of vitamin c okay vitamin c serum has a way of brightening the skin it helps with hyperpigmentation it helps you know 
it gives you that young and smooth look especially if you're using a very good vitamin c serum okay if you have any other vitamin um, serum that you want to apply on your skin you can make use of it till you're done as long as you're age 28 and above please do not skip using um do not skip moisturizer i see a lot of people um that do not use moisturizer once they are done with their serum that is it for the day no darling you need to moisturize your skin you need to more you need a lot of moisturizer on your skin as long as you're age 28 and above in fact 27 and above you need a lot of moisturizer on your skin remember when you're using any of those products make sure you use a product that will work for your skin type that way you can see result easily and then you will not waste money buying products that will not work for you with your moisturizer the next thing you want to do is get yourself spf always use spf as long whether you're indoor you're outdoor make sorry you're indoor you're outdoor make use of spf and once you're done in the morning that is it just all that and you are good to go now at night um after taking your shower use your body wash take out the dirt and everything you want to use your exfoliator okay you want to use your you want to exfoliate your skin i advise people to exfoliate their skin at least three times in a week okay it helps to open the your pores it helps your cream or your products to work perfectly on your skin and it takes out dead skin cell now once you're done with exfoliating the next is to use a toner on your skin as well okay i use toner some people don't but i use toner um anytime i exfoliate i make sure i use a mouth toner except i am treating uh maybe acne or i have a skin condition i need to treat then i can use um any other toner but i advise whenever you exfoliate your skin please use a mouth toner okay you don't want to use anything acidic okay um once you're done with that the next thing you want to apply is um your skin serum okay is it that a brightening serum um vitamin c serum okay you want to apply serum on your face you want to apply um glow oil on your face it all depends on what you want to achieve and also your skin type as well if you have a sensitive skin you want to be careful of the kind of oil you apply on your skin you're age 28 and above and you're watching this video if you have any skin condition at that this point in time you want to treat your skin at night okay once you're done with that then you apply your moisturizer please do not forget to use your moisturizer in fact do not skip your moisturizer because your moisturizer has a way of you know uh, moisturizing your skin give your skin that glow and soft um, texture it gives your skin glowing soft and smooth um, feel especially when you wake up in the morning you are going to see it on your skin once you're done you don't need spf i know some people might want to use spf but trust me i don't advise people using using spf at night i mean everywhere is calm and cool okay so i don't use it if you want to it's up to you but i don't use it Hola. that is all you need to do okay to give to see that glow to clear off that hyperpigmentation to clear off that dull dry skin when it comes to your body all right you apply your lotion in the morning apply your lotion at night use your glow oil use your oil whatever oil depends on what you want to achieve like i said 
if you want to you know um even out your skin you want to um you want a bright glowing looking skin please always apply oil on your skin you lock in the moisture when you use oil after your lotion if this video sound interesting to you and you want to see more of this please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video and don't forget to like and share this video that way it will help the algorithm to push out my video and it also encourage me to want to do more video okay and don't forget to leave a comment below if you want to see more of this kind of video or you want to know the kind of product that actually works for each skin type okay then leave a comment below i will be in the comment section and i will see you in my next upload bye